do you like what you see <laughs> this is made with attachment braiding attachment and you can achieve yours even finer than this you can see how bouncy and silky it is so in this video i will show you step by step how to achieve this yourself and if you want yours to look like this exactly just watch the video till the end okay Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are just coming across my videos for the first time please and please subscribe to my channel you are very welcome if you are a new subscriber thank you i really appreciate for my returning subscribers i really appreciate you all you guys are the best you all have been keeping me going i really appreciate you guys first step is to pick our attachment and the color used on this particular hair is color red okay color red and 350 I am done picking the attachment so it is time to blend it blend it very well because I feel like the color red is too sharp so that is why I mix it with the 350 to blend it to make the color look cool yeah so i am done blending you can see how cool the color is it is so cool not as sharp like before because i don't want it to be too sharp and i am done combing it you can see how smooth it is so you comb it through please very very important you know when you are making a braiding air uh, maybe you are making braid and twisty and all that you add cream to your attachment yeah so when making this particular wig do not add anything on your attachment don't add cream next step you get a boil you had boiled water to it not just hot water please let the water be a boiling water you had it then you put conditioner any conditioner of your choice into the water okay so after doing this you mix the water with the conditioner inside you mix it just let everything be mixed then you put your attachment inside When you are done, you 
take it out and sun dry it so you sun dry it and once it is fully dried you take it in you tie a rope like a thread this normal thread that you're using to sew your hair using to sew clothes just make it like three or four strand of thread take your attachment just a little a little of it you remove it you turn it over the thread you can see how i'm doing it then you bring out the attachment and you draw it with your hand you can see here yeah. so that is how you would do it you bend it over the attachment as if you want to tie it so that is it that is how you would do it you can see it is very simple so you do everything this way don't let it to be too big okay don't let it to be too big just take little by little that's how you do it So what we are doing next is we'll iron the hair. Iron your weave on. <laughs> yes, so on a low heat, you iron the hair. Iron it very well. On a low heat, please. On a low heat, you comb it and you iron it. On a low heat, you comb it and you iron it on a low heat then you come to the knot of the hair you put your iron on a high heat not too hot but let it be on a high heat okay on a high heat you iron the knot on a high heat please you iron only the knot and on a low heat you iron the hair you reduce the iron you iron the hair you increase the iron you iron the knot okay very important please don't make the mistake of ironing the hair on a high heat iron it on a low heat okay thank you So you can see how smooth and silky it is this air is tangle free like seriously it is tangle free you can see how silky and bouncy it is it is so soft very very soft is really good let me bounce it for you to see <laughs> so you can see how bouncy and silky this air is when you are done with it so you can see the thread for you to believe that yes it is attachment you can see the color of thread they're still showing that yes it is the same attachment that i have been using from beginning yeah i did not change it when you follow the steps that i showed you yours will come out this same way okay just keep watching okay so our next step will fix the hair i don't have black thread <laughs> that is why i'm using this thread to fix it because it will not show i'll be doing a um t fronter so the attach the thread will not show that is why i'm using you can use the same color of the hair as thread so next i'll be ventilating a t frontal to finish it up this is not a ventilating tutorial video so i'm so sorry i will not be making it slow for you to watch 
Okay. Okay, see how beautiful it turns out. So beautiful. It is really nice, guys. <laughs> all right so what we'll be doing next is trim if you like you can leave it if you like you trim it for me i want it to be very short so you can trim it to your desired length So what we are doing next is ironing. So after trimming it to your desired length, you iron it on a low heat. Remember on a low heat, okay? So I'll put it on and show you how it looks. So you can see how beautiful it has turned out to be. It is very soft, tangle free, silky and smooth. So guys, if you enjoyed watching my videos, please and please don't forget to subscribe, click on the like button, share, comment. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.